Hello students, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and here in this video we are going to discuss how to write a C program to swap two values, two variables using pointers. So we have did this program earlier also but here we are going to use pointers and with the help of pointers we are going to see that how we can swap the value of any two variables. The logic is very simple, basic concept of C programming we are going to use. And at the end, I am going to tell you that uh, how exactly runtime output will be shown on compiler. So do watch this video till the end. And if find any kind of doubt or query in this video, meanwhile, the duration of video or in any time span of the video, you can comment in the section and I will try to resolve them as early as possible from my side. So let's start. Basically, here I have included header file, you know, already very well some functions like printf, right, uh, scanf, their definitions are stored in this file. So this uh, header file is going to expand the function library files or function code of that, uh, that uh, they, 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 this uh, header file is going to uh, explore the function files of this function so that the meaning of these functions will be clear to the compiler. Thereafter, we have uh, uh, started from void swap int asterisk x int star y. That is nothing but we have created a function whose name is swap under that two argument is passed two parameter is passed of integer type and both are pointer variables right you can simply see that they are integer variables they are uh, uh, integer type variables which is passed as an argument as a parameter in the function now inside this function what we are doing initially one more variable with the name t of integer type is declared and t is assigned whatever value x is going to hold. x means simple that whatever value x is having, asterisk x means value at x, value at x. So whatever value at x is there, it is going to be assigned to t. Now, star x is assigned the value which is having with y. And again, y is going to have, or star y is going to have the value which is waving with the t. Basically, what is going to happen? Let's say x is 10 and y is 20. So 10 is assigned to t, 20 is assigned to x, and again, y is going to assign 10. So y is now having 10 and x is having 20. That is how we are going to swap. But this, this function is going to be work when we are going to call this function. We haven't called this function yet. We just learned. So this is the functionality of this function. But the main function, the compiler is going to read the program from here, main function onwards. And here we have declared two variable num1 and num2. And we are going to ask user that kindly put two numbers. User can enter any number. Let's say user uh, input first number is a 10. So 10 is going to be stored at, at the address of num1. And let's say user have entered the second number 20. It's going to be stored at the address of num2. Okay, now what we are printing in front of user screen before swapping num1 is 10 and before and num2 is 20. This is going to be print. Now we are going to call the user defined function swap. Swap m% num1, m% num2. This is address of num1 and address of num2 is going to be passed as a parameter inside the swap function. It means that swap function is called. If this swap function is called, this swap function is going to be here. And whatever we have passed two arguments, that is m% num1 address of num1 and address of num2, that is going to be passed here. Now, what they are going to fetch at value at x. So whatever address we are going to pass, whatever value they are having, they, they, they're going to be here. Simply means that at the address of num1, we are having 10 and at the address of num2, we are having 20. So basically, asterisk x is going to represent 10 and asterisk y is going to represent 20. And they are going to swap. I already told you. After that, printf, after swapping num1 would be 20 and num1 would, num2 would be 10. This is how this swapping function is working. And this is very simple program. Let me run this program in front of you so that you all can understand exactly what is going on. The name of file is OK swp.c compiling executable file named a enter num1 let me enter anything 100 enter num2 i am entering 200 before swapping num1 is 100 num2 is 200 after swapping num1 is 200 and num2 is 100 this is the program 
I hope this program is very much clear to all of you. Further, anybody is having any kind of doubt or confusion, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much, guys. Do subscribe, like the video, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.